Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Virgos. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your general love reading. I hope all has been well, Virgos. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. And shout out to my beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. It is always truly an honor to have you here evolving with me. And welcome, welcome back to my returning subscribers as well. Thank you for your comments and your feedback. It's always appreciated, all right? So no further ado, Virgos. We're going to go ahead and get into your general love reading here for the month of October. All right, if you're new here, again, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe as well, Virgos. We would love to have you a part of our family. And be sure to set your notification bells for when I do go live on this channel for energy check-ins and also your next upcoming Virgo reading, all right so no further ado let's dive in we're first going to start with some love messages some love oracle messages here for you and then we're going to tap into some tarot bring it down to the physical to see what's going on in your love life all right so no further ado let's dive in wow we have honeymoon here virgos enjoy the myth of holiday time together all right, so there could be someone new here, Virgos, that you could be connecting here with around the holidays, okay? This is kind of somewhat my dating card. This is a card where you're just getting to know someone. You're in that honeymoon stage, right? Or there could literally be a honeymoon going on for some of you all. Congratulations, if so, all right? But this is a card when you are in those moments or feelings and emotions where you're connecting with someone on a very intimate level here, Virgo. So that is wonderful. Let's see what else is going on in your love life on the spiritual perspective of things. What other messages here, spirit team, do we have here? Let's see what else. What else do we have coming out from Virgos? We have love yourself first, Virgos. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so you being in the space or the environment here of being romantically attractive, the space that you're in, you may be attracting other individuals that are, you know, coming towards you on that vibration of romance and love. So you're definitely in that space of vibration of love. Okay, yeah, look at that wedding. Wow. This situation involves marriage. Again, congratulations for some of you all that maybe recently has been proposed to or you're getting married. You're in that honeymoon stage. Okay, again, congratulations. Some of y'all, there is definitely a connection here that's coming together for some of you all here. All right, and some of you all, you're getting confirmation that someone here may want to take things to the next level with you. OK, or, you know, going more serious into a relationship or somewhat of a commitment here. OK, spirit is saying that this person that you're connecting with this situation in the future can involve a marriage, a commitment. OK, wow, I love it. OK, so let's dive deeper into this. At the bottom of the deck, we have forgiving and learning Virgos as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, okay? So yeah, I feel like a lot of opportunities is coming around you as far as being intimate with someone and also give you an opportunity to forgive others that may have done wrong towards you because you're going into a new phase, I feel like in your life, okay? You are ending you know, relationships or partnerships that no longer serve some of you all. And you're going into a new companion or partnership here. Okay, so let's bring it down to the physical. Let's clarify with some tarot here in the 3D. Let's see what's going on. Who is in your energy here, Virgos, and why? Wow, definitely if the reading here so far is resonating for you again, Virgos, don't forget to smash that like button. All right, that'd be very much appreciated. And again, subscribe. We would love to have you, Virgos, a part of our family here, okay? So let's now clarify starting with love yourself first, okay? We have the two of pentacles here, earth energy, all right? Some of y'all, you could be connecting with an earth sign. This could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, 
all right, like yourself. Um, you may be in a predicament or a situation where you're going to find yourself having to do more than one um opportunity or having more than one opportunity you may find yourselves having to juggle here okay um there may be a situation where you're may having to prioritize your life right now okay some of you all are busy connecting with someone new here and having to balance your career your romantic love life and that sort Others of you all, there could have been a situation here where someone was in the mix of juggling, okay? Rather, if this is someone from your past or someone new, um, I feel like here with loving yourself is going to you be you finding balance here when it comes to your love life and whatever that is else that you may find yourself having to multitask or attend to at the same time. Finding balance when it comes to your love life and finding balance when it comes to, you know, other priorities that you have that you have to attend to, okay? Let's clarify the honeymoon for you, Virgos. Let's see why we have honeymoon here. Let's clarify with some tarot here. Why do we have honeymoon coming out for Virgos? We have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, that talks about a partnership. That talks about someone wanting to be in the space of giving, even exchange energy with you. Someone that wants to share this union with you in a genuine way where they are being reciprocated with you. Okay. Wow. We definitely have someone that's watching you and that is observing you as well at this time here. This could be an air sign for some of you all. Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. All right, someone could be watching and observing you while you're connecting with someone new, Virgos, for some of you all. Let's clarify the wedding card. And some of y'all, you could be married, okay? And there is someone that is watching and observing you. Take it how it resonates. I'm getting a lot of messages for you, Virgos, okay? Clarify wedding here. This situation involves marriage. Clarify wedding. Why do we have wedding here for this situation involves marriage spirit? Clarify wedding. We have the Ten of Swords. Wow. Some of you all could be ending a marriage here, okay? With the Ten of Swords, that talks about a painful ending at that. This could have been with the Gemini for some of you all with the Ten of Swords. Or again, they could have been Aquarius or a Libra. All right, but there has been somewhat of a commitment or a marriage here for some of you all that has now ended here, okay? And again, it could have been due to juggling, okay? This person could have put you in a third-party situation. So some of y'all, this could be confirmation of you reflecting back on your wedding, on your partnership with this person here, okay? Um, wow. Let's see what this person here wants to say, Virgos, on behalf of everything that was channeled out here. Let's see how does this person feel about this here that you are connecting with or that is in your energy. Let's see how this person feel. Wow. I can't make it up here. I remember mentioning with the page of swords here that someone here is watching. Someone is observing you and we have, I watch your every move. Okay. Um, wow. Look at this. We got third party Virgos. Yeah, some of y'all this reading today, unfortunately, um, it is confirmation for some of you all that this person did however put you in a third party situation here. Yeah, we have no more sneaking around. It's you. Okay, so it's like the very person that put you in this third party situation is the person here that is no longer wanting to be sneaking around or be involved in third parties. I feel like because now that things have finally ended, seems like someone here has gotten some type of reality check. Okay, yeah, look at that. I was wrong. Sorry. So you have this person wanting to come in and, you know, apologize to you for their behavior here. Okay, we have the mother. Okay, so the mother could be significant. This could have been the mother of your child, Virgos, or you could be the mother of this person's child or children here. Okay, or there could have been a mother figure involved in a third party with this person here. Okay, we have I only wanted you. Okay, yeah, this is definitely giving me third party vibes. And this person is kind of like in the space, even though they were involved in this situation with someone else. 
originally they only wanted to be with you okay yeah we got let's fix this problem wow virgos very interesting reading here today virgos i'm gonna leave this portion of the reading here um however if you kind of would love to see what's going to be the outcome here or what's the potential outcome here again my email details are down below virgos in the description box if you would love to book a personal reading all right, but this here is what we have for your energy check-in. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and set your bells for your next upcoming reading so we could see where the energy goes from here, okay? Thank you all so much, and I definitely look forward to, to your next reading. And I wish you and this person in this entire situation here, Virgos, the best, my loves. Bye-bye.